right on target. Well done, Bob. Let's see. It's Thursday the 16th. What am I supposed to be doing today? Well, of course, I'm doing Tomorrow's World, and I should be in Studio 3, which, of course, I am. A computerized personal organizer may seem like the ultimate yuppie accessory, but in fact, this new machine and machines like them mark a fundamental change in the way all of us will soon be communicating with machines using pens. Instead of pushing a button or pressing a key, electronic notepads will allow us to write directly onto the screen as easily as using pen and paper. Now, these are not likely to replace keyboards, but they do allow computers to be used in completely new ways. Buyers of luxury cars expect only the best, and it's especially true when it comes to that most visible feature, the gleaming paintwork. But in the paint shop, even the tiniest specks of dirt can spoil a truly professional finish. The fault's only become obvious after the paint's been cured in an oven. Tracking down the cause of recurrent problems is possible, but it's time-consuming. First, you have to find the faults. Here on the inspection line, reflected light is used to reveal minor imperfections in the paintwork. Each fault is carefully smoothed down, leaving a clearly visible mark. Before these are repolished, an inspector normally records where errors have occurred on a card by putting a code in the corresponding position on a drawing. Spotting trends from all these cards can reveal specific problems, but it can take days. So, instead of pen and card, there's pen and computer screen. There's no keyboard or disk drive, so it's easy to use on the move. Again, there's a drawing of a car, which is simply touched to give the position and the type of fault. Collecting the information in this way is slightly quicker, but things are really speeded up when the computer is taken back to the office. When you want to analyse what's been happening, you simply plug it into the office computer and download the information. The quality control department then gets a full report of the day's faults and can track down what's been causing them at a much earlier stage. The plan now is to link all the computers by radio to keep a constant watch on that valuable shine. Using the same sort of system, a waiter could take your order at a restaurant for the whole meal, and then you could get a nutritional breakdown of the whole meal. And if that impresses you, and you feel that it's worth giving a good tip, you actually write in, I'm going to give 15%, and then you'll be told exactly what your bill is. Reading handwritten numbers isn't too difficult, but this type of computer will really only take off when it can read normal handwriting just as easily. At the moment, most of these machines can already read block capitals reasonably well. This one does, for example, but it's rather different because it's got paper over a pressure-sensitive pad, and it converts your writing into a display up here. So let's see if it can pick up my surname and it's displaying it electronically and you also have the advantage of a paper copy at the same time. Now even when these machines can read handwriting well, pen computers will probably be most useful when there's a mixture of text and diagrams. And this system I've got here is already being tried out by some estate agents. They'll come to your home, they'll measure up, do drawings and you'll get a printout actually on the spot very quickly so you can check it. So let me first of all get a rough outline of this room. Well, I know that's wrong because it's a square-shaped room, so let me just alter that. It's saying 41 by 18 feet. I know that it's 16 by 16, so let me write that in. And as soon as it's got that, I say what room it is. It's the dining room. And We'll just see if it can get that right. Here we have a perfectly square dining room. Now, I want to put on the fireplace, which is just here to my left, a nice big fireplace. Let me draw that on. And the door, of course, is opposite. So let me put on the door. Let me just actually put that for the door. We'll put the door over there opposite. It's just like drawing. 
the potential for pen computers is enormous because they use a simple, familiar tool, a pen, to do very complex things. They can also make better use of what we already write. It's predicted that we'll soon see an electronic checkbook which can read the amount, verify your signature and communicate directly with the bank's computer, keeping track of your finances and hopefully preventing you from going into the red. Now, Kate reports on an idea to prevent the repeat of a terrible tragedy. The French Open Tennis Championship in Paris, one of Europe's most prestigious sporting events. But it's not the tennis that I'm here to watch. It's what's recording the tennis and recording me. A high-definition television camera on trial as part of Europe's proposed system. 1,250 television picture lines. Now, that's twice the definition on the set you're watching at the moment. And there's another advantage of this system. At the moment, you're missing out on a piece of the action. But all that could change sooner than you think. Widescreen television. The first sets will go on sale here over the summer. It's the format that most movies have been filmed in over the years, which has always given television broadcasters something of a headache, squeezing a wide rectangle into a rather squarer one. One technique is called pan and scan. An editor re-records the film using a television-shaped frame to select a particular area. The frame can be moved around with a joystick to follow the action, but you lose out on some of the picture. Another approach is to do what they did when they showed the French Connection on, on television last Friday. That is to put the film into a sort of letterbox there with black bars at the top and bottom. On the widescreen, though, the picture can be expanded to fill the whole of the screen. And normal television pictures can be made the normal shape, which I don't think it has done there, with black bars down either side. Well, what about high-definition television? Well, this set can take the 1,250 lines of an HDTV picture, but all the TV signals in the UK are still only 625 lines. What this TV does now is repeat every line, doubling the number. On the right is an ordinary TV, on the left the new TV with the lines closer together, making the picture more even, but it isn't yet high-definition. This sort of set will really come into its own next year when it's used at public exhibitions to show high-definition pictures of the Barcelona Olympics. So, is it the shape of things to come? Well, too early to say.